Before we can look at how we convert units of measurement, we need to actually look at what the units of measurement are in the metric and SI system. We're going to look at a variety of different units because units are extremely important both in your everyday life and for most of you for your future careers. This is particularly important in the healthcare field since the metric system is used throughout healthcare. Units of measurement the metric system is used throughout the world to create a consistent way of measuring materials. We're going to look at measurements involving length, volume, mass, temperature, and time. There are other units of measurement that are used in the metric system, and it's important to be aware of how these work. One beauty of the metric system is that the way we do conversions, the way it works, is going to be consistent across these different units. Here's a summary table of the units of measurement, the metric and SI, the, some of the important units for this course. Length of the meter, the symbol for that unit is the lower case M. So do make sure that you are aware of what the symbol is for each of these units. Mass is the gram, lower case G. Time, second, lower case S. Temperature, Kelvin, uppercase K, volume of liter, capitalized L, and the amount of substance is the mole. It is also sometimes symbolized with just MOL. If we look at volume, it's important to think about what is volume. Volume is a measurement of the amount of space something takes up in three dimensions. So you can think about volume as being how much liquid you have in a container, how much air you have in a balloon. These are examples of how we might measure volume. Volume is often measured with graduated cylinders, volumetric flasks, pipettes, burettes. You may also uh, use other devices, needles, syringes, those types of things. There's lots of different ways of measuring volume, but it's important to clue in to this liter, that capital L, whether it's in liters or milliliters, these are ways that we measure volume. So if you see a unit that involves liters or milliliters, then you know that that measurement is a measure of volume. Length, we have the meter or centimeter. So length just tells you how long something is or how high something is, so single dimension. You could measure it with a ruler, calipers. There's a variety of different ways that you can measure uh, the length of something. Mass is the quantity of a substance. It could be measured in grams or kilograms. Notice this relationship that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. We'll talk a little bit more about how that we determine that relationship when we look closer at the metric units. It's important to distinguish the difference between mass and weight. When we're talking about being on the planet Earth, mass and weight are essentially the same, but mass is the quantity of a substance. It's not going to change depending on where you are in the universe. The weight is something that can change because weight is essentially how the mass interacts with gravity on Earth. Uh, or if in the case of you know an astronaut or something, they might go in and uh, their weight would be different on a different planet, on a different, on the moon, in, the, in space. So it's important to remember that if something is weightless, it, that does not change the amount of mass. The mass is going to be the same, has the same quantity of substance throughout. Temperature, we look at the units of Celsius or Kelvin. Temperature is a kind of an interesting concept because it's actually an indirect measure of the speed of the molecules. So if something is hotter, the molecules are moving at a faster speed. Temperature is, temperature is measured using Celsius in the metric system, Kelvin in the SI system. Uh, since you know this is a measure that's not as commonly used in the United States, um, 
it's important to, to know that water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. This is going to be important as we look at some of the experiments, different ways that water behaves. The Kelvin scale is an absolute temperature scale, so you notice that there's no degree symbol here. And that just means that it starts at zero, at the lowest possible temperature of zero Kelvin. So you cannot have negative temperatures in the Kelvin scale. You can have negative temperatures in the Celsius scale. The unit of time, the base unit is second, but we can look at different units such as year, days, hours, minutes, seconds. If you need to review the relationship between these units, then do make sure and do so. We won't go through these specifically, but you are expected to be able to convert between seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years.